Don't Fear the Monster, a reading guide, written by C.J. Corky. A Halloween Scare. Go beyond bedtime stories and learn how to get kids ready to read. Within this video, you will find all you need to know about interactive reading with your children and grandchildren. If you ever felt like you were missing the manual to teach a child to read, this guide inspires you to go beyond reading out loud to interactive learning. Boo! Let's get started at learning how to read for early literacy. Let's start with the cover. First, identify the title, the author, and the series. Next, point. Point to the shadow of the dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur does it look like? Answer, a Tyrannosaurus rex. Ask, do you think a real dinosaur would be hiding behind the house? Let's try, can you find? The puppy, the bear, the hummingbird. Did you know that a Tyrannosaurus is also called T-Rex? The name means tyrant lizard. On page four, Identify the goggles. What do you think is Sage's superpower? Point to the LHB. What do you think it means? Love, hugs, and blessings. Ask, what costume do you want for Halloween? Ask, can you find the bandage on Sage? Did you know that the apron started as a small tablecloth known as a napron to protect a larger tablecloth from spills. Identify the different costumes. Astronaut, fireman, dinosaur, pumpkin. Point to the pumpkins and count. One, two, three. Ask, do you think the costume is a dinosaur or a monster? How would you feel if someone had a scary costume on? Can you find the puppy and the little girl? Did you know that Halloween has been around for more than 2,000 years? On page 8, identify the glasses on grandmother, then the goggle on the girl. Is that part of their costume? Ask, do you think the dinosaur is trying to scare the girl? Can you find the spider? Did you know Skittles is considered the favorite Halloween candy? What candy do you like? On page 10 and 11, identify the water pump, the hat, the bench, and the fire pit. Point, what is beside the fire pit? Answer, the marshmallow bush. Ask. How do you think that Jack can help the little girl not be afraid? Can you find the bell? Did you know that a hat which covers the head shows nobility, which is an honorary title? On page 12, identify the clown, the witch, the ghost, and the dinosaur costume. Point to the witch's hat. Tall hats like these are used to describe witches. The top looks like a triangle. Ask. Clowns can be scary. Are you afraid of clowns? Can you find the purple circles? How many are there? The answer, 15. Did you know superheroes and princesses are the most popular kids' costumes? On page 14 and 15, identify Carl the Hummingbird Jack the teddy bear, and S'more the puppy dog. Point to the word look and spell out each letter L-O-O-K. What if you changed the letter L to B? What would it spell? Book. Can you find the letter O? Did you know in some cultures they believe that hummingbirds are messengers of love, joy, and happiness. On page 16 and 17, identify the book, the Halloween bag, and the candy corn. Point to the word sage 
and spell it out. S A G E. Ask. The little girl's name is Sage. It means wise or healthy. Do you know the meaning of your name? Were you named after someone? Did you know that candy corn was originally called chicken feed? Identify Sage's non-matching socks. Did Sage, the little girl, wear two different socks on all the pages? Point. Point to the title of the book on the bench. Spell out the word did. D-I-D. What would it spell if you changed the I to A? Dad. Ask, what does grandfather mean by saying, knowledge is power? The more one knows, the more one will be able to control events. Can you find the bandage? Did you know that not all dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago? Avian dinosaur, birds, survive and are said to be living today. Identify the sun. What time of day do you think it is? Point. Point to the word Jack and spell it out. J A C K. What if you changed the letter J to P? Pack. Ask, who are some of your best friends? Do you think that they would help you if you were scared? Can you find, can you find the fence? Can you find the storybook? Can you find Jack's bracelet? Did you know that you can tell time by the sun? People used to use sundials, which cast a shadow, depending on where the sun is in the sky, to tell time. On page 22 and 23, identify the lights on the house. How many are there? One, two, three. Point to the word trick-or-treat. What letters do you know? Ask, what do you think of Joseph the dinosaur teasing Sage, the little girl? Do you think that he was being funny? Do you think it's okay? Can you find the tiny dinosaur? Can you find the doorbell? Can you? Did you know? Did you know that electric doorbells were invented in 1831? by Joseph Henry. On page 24 and 25, identify the word, I'm sorry, what letters do you know? Point to the little girl's face. What do you think she's feeling, mad or sad? Ask, do you think Sage, the little girl, should forgive Joseph, the little boy? Why or why not? Can you find, can you find the two bandages? Did you know the company Johnson & Johnson, or known as J&J, &J, came up with a way to produce flat strips of cotton and attach them to tape for an easy, quick bandage? On page 26 and 27, identify the colors of the marshmallows, white, orange, and pink. Point to the end of the story and say, the end. Ask. What do you like to do for Halloween? Name some of your family traditions. Did you know? Did you know the s'more was introduced in 1927? The snack was initially called some mores. On page 28 and 29, identify. Identify all the objects on the can you find list, noting the words under the pictures. Point. Ask the child to point to the objects as you ask where is ask what are the colors of each of the different items in the story go back and find each one of the items throughout the book can you find all of the items on the checklist check them off in a worksheet as you go did you know read all of the did you know facts go to cj corky's website for more www.cjcorki.com On page 30 and 31, identify. Did you know one in five children have dyslexia? CJ Corky is bringing awareness to parents and grandparents
to help identify the signs before kids start school. Download the reading guide for Don't Fear the Monster today. For more information about all of our books written in open dyslexic font to help children with or without dyslexia, go to www.cjcorky.com. It is also packed with resources and activities for intentional grandparenting.